You might say Craig Hutto is part bionic man. In 2005, doctors amputated his leg above the knee after a shark attacked him along the Florida Gulf Coast. I was 16 years old. When my brother heard me yell, what was that, and saw something take me under, he saw the, the back fin of the shark. I mean, there was just so much tissue damage and so much flesh gone that it was just irreparable. Two years later, and game for a challenge, Hutto became the first test pilot for a unique and powerful new prosthetic leg developed by mechanical engineer Michael Goldfarb and his team at Vanderbilt University. The effort was kick-started by a grant from the National Science Foundation. We were able to d develop a early prototype that demonstrated that you could have a leg that was light enough and could deliver biomechanical levels of torque and power. This Version 1.0 evolved into a more streamlined 2.0, computer-controlled with advanced range of motion in the joints. This is a battery that powers everything. Uh, you have a, um, uh, a motor here that uh, drives the knee joint, motor here that drives the ankle joint. This is the whole computer board that essentially tells the motors what to do with the joints. It has the computing capability on board to work synergistically with the user to provide the torque at the right time. It's designed to respond to cues from the wearer. Right before I go to stair ascent, I kind of kick my thigh back just a little bit and just that little movement tells it, hey, you're about to walk upstairs. To reduce the risk of injury, Goldfarb's team has intentionally programmed a slight delay into the leg's computer. Hutto confirms it takes less effort to walk compared to the prosthetic he wears on a daily basis. With my leg, it is harder because it's always a step behind me. Goldfarb says after years of work, they have sold their technology to a major prosthetic manufacturer. We'll know in the next few years if these are going to really gain a lot of traction in the market. And Hato, who is now studying to be a nurse, is looking forward to one day soon walking tall on a bionic leg that he helped make a reality. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.